hello guys and welcome to my kc and today we are building an e-commerce site e-commerce platform with a completely jquery so we have a two pages uh, one is the index page in the index page that we are displaying all the products and one more page we have called so cart.html so we displaying whenever you add to cart those all the products will display over here and so this is a we are in this video series we are not so covering html and css we are mostly focusing on jquery only so for the ui section i'll push to github i'll share the link in the description you can copy so ui elements and let's start now so we have a file so card.js now it is an empty and i was imported in uh, so index.html file and as well as i was imported in so card.html so now in the in the index.html file i have a class name uh, add to card whenever you click on add to card so it should push to local storage that's the whole idea now so let's start our javascript now jquery so first document dot ready function So after that we have a class called add. We have a class called add to cart. Add to cart. Dot on click. So once you want on click, we are taking an ID, ID of it. So ID text. So we are scrubbing the id so like this dot attribute id so with id we're gonna be finding product now so i'm just giving a variable name that so here so we grabbing an id so so that way hash plus id text and plus it's a product so why I was took like this? So first I was taking an so attribute ID. So means I was taking so I was taking first. Okay. After that I was grabbing this ID first product. Right? So first already is there and first means coming from ID text underscore so product and this is ID right so that's why hash so once you've done that I'm gonna be adding a function now so add to card function so I'm passing that so now I'm gonna create a function function a add to card and this is an item giving a item attribute, attribute that we passing and here now in this add to, add to card function we are pushed our products to local storage let's start so i'm going to defining an object so item object so empty now so now i'm, I'm finding the name so finding the name so item dot find so i give in a class so class title and i'm take i'm taking the text and also i'm doing trim so if any space is there it will remove after that i'm pushing price to item object okay this is not item item object so i'm pushing you know price to item object now so item dot find so i give a class called price and dot text same and trim okay so after that i'm also defining a quantity so defaultly it, the quantity is one right i'm just giving, i'm just giving one quantity so after that so now we're defining a local storage so local storage dot get item so first we're checking the local storage is there or not okay so i'm, I'm passing a key called make easy for local storage and if it is undefined 
and if it is undefined so we are going to be setting a local storage now so local storage set item with a make easy that's it so now we have uh, i'm going to one more variable called cart so empty object so now first i'm going to fetching first i'm fetching whatever there in the local storage the key called make easy right so local storage dot get item get item make easy okay if it is there we are we are passing to cart otherwise an empty so empty hash so if now so how we are storing in local storage right so we are storing like so first so product name so product name and it having one more hash inside so it having a price and quantity this is how we store it okay so the so price is 10 and quantity so now we need to push to local storage in this format in this format right so for that i'm checking if cart cart of name right this is the name this is the product name so we are already taking the name so product name so if it is there so if it is there you no need to add to add to card again you no need to add right so you just need to update the quantity right so if it is not if it is not there that uh, name in the local storage now we have to push to local storage right so cut of name is item object so now local storage dot set item with a make easy is the key is the make easy and json dot stringify our cart that's it so now we are not uh, doing a code for uh, updating a cart so now we just in the first video that we just push to local storage right so json dot stringify cart and we have a key already make easy okay let's go to here and refresh the page and do add to cart so inspect element and go to an application so we don't have it go to console so now we have an id is not defined let's go there and attribute id it must be a string yes let's refresh again so click to add record no error go to the application yes it is added to local storage so beats headphones and the price is 78.95 and quantity is one so if you add again this one it's nothing it will do right because already it is added so it is going to if condition so nothing will be written over here right now so it's going to end condition but you can add another products like i'm adding this one as with the one uh, so 200.95 quantity is one and add to card 5.95 and yes that's it that's it in the first series in the next video in the next video that we are covering if condition so if already added to a card we are update the quantity so we update the quantity one every time thank you guys and thanks for watching hope you like the video please subscribe to make easy thank you